Seeing a PBA Pro miss an easy shot is quite satisfying in the sense that you realise that nobody is perfect and even the absolute best can be affected by extreme pressure. In this video we're going to look at some of the biggest misses made by PBA Pros. Now most of these misses are in situations where the pressure is at the highest level. However, these pros are so experienced you would still expect them to convert these chances to close out the match. There are four misses for us to analyse in this video, so let's start with number one, Rhino Page. Now we head to the 2009 Tournament of Champions where Rhino Page is seeking his first ever major championship and is looking to do so by defeating Patrick Allen in the title match. Both players were on fire in this match. Patrick Allen got a great break in the second shot of the 10th frame and managed to strike out for a 267. However, Rhino Page could strike out for a 279 still. So Rhino had to have the first strike in the 10th frame to have a chance to win. So the pressure was intense with his first major title on the line. He looked locked in and super focused all match and he managed to get the first strike. This now meant he just needed at least a 9 spare. Let's take a look at this next shot. You can see it was wide of target but also it just didn't seem to come off his hand correctly. This meant that he lost the match regardless of whether he made the spare or not. This was one of the most shocking misses in recent PBA history. It's the fact that Rhino was so focused and in the zone and he did the hard work by getting the first strike in the 10th. Unfortunately though, this miss would mean he would have to continue his quest for his first major title. Number 2. Sean Rash Sean Rash has certainly had his fair share of missed spares on television and more often than not, it's been during crucial moments of the match. This miss took place during the 2023 Roth Holman doubles tournament. It was the championship match and Sean Rash was partnered with Matt Ogle and they were taking on Paki Hanaran and Mitch Hupe and Rash stepped up in the 8th with a 21 pin lead. He went light and left the 2-4-8 and on the spare, the ball overhooked and he missed the 2-pin taking out the 4 and 8 pin. This let their opponents right back into the match, however Rash had a chance to redeem himself in the 10th frame. He left the 10 pin off a fairly decent shot and if he spared it, it would mean his opponents would need to strike in the 10th frame to win. However Rash completely missed the 10 pin and we've seen him do this exact same thing in the 10th frame of a title match and it cost him dearly. Well now, Paki just needs a mark to win the title for his team and he gets a strike in the first shot of the 10th. Two misses in two consecutive frames from Rash proved extremely costly and really did lose them the match. Number 3. Randy Peterson Everybody put your hand up for this one. It was 1994 at the Tournament of Champions and Randy was facing Pete Webber in match number two. It was extremely close throughout, so close that it was even after eight frames. In the crucial ninth frame, Randy threw the ball inside and it crossed over going Brooklyn and he left the five pin. Now, as we all know, nobody ever misses the five pin and of course, nobody wants the embarrassment of being the guy to miss a five pin on TV. But you guessed it, Randy completely misses this one. It looked like he tried to go straight at it but missed left. And if it wasn't for his stone 8 pin, this could have ended up being Randy's worst ever moment on TV. But uh, the most surprising thing is that this miss didn't actually cost Randy the match. Pete had a nightmare in the 10th frame going through the nose for a 5 count and then threw his second shot in the gutter. Meaning Randy just needed a spare to advance in the 10th frame. So although it all worked out for Randy in the end, this miss is definitely something I'm sure he'd like to forget. Number 4. Shannon O'Keefe Our final miss on this list comes from Shannon O'Keefe at the Women's US Open in 2022. It's match number 2 and Shannon is playing Erin McCarthy and as this is the US Open, these lanes are a challenge. Erin played a solid game shooting a 220. This meant that Shannon needed two strikes and eight pins in the 10th frame to advance to the next match. She nails the first shot and then gets a little bit right but manages to carry with a lighter hit to get the double. Half the job is done but she still needs to make one more good shot and get eight pins. But her next shot is way inside right off her hand 
and on this pattern it's never going to hold and she goes through the nose leaving the greek church this means she loses the match by two pins just when everyone thought she'd done enough to win it's a pretty hard miss to take after stepping up and throwing two pretty good shots to get the hard part done and on another day she might have got away with this one you know she could have gone through the nose and tripped anything and got lucky but it wasn't to be for shannon and this miss unfortunately cost her the match so that brings us to an end of today's video i haven't actually mentioned that this is part two and i did part one where i uh, ran through some other big misses in pba history so if you haven't actually watched that video then i will leave a link above just click on the link and you can watch part one i hope you all enjoyed uh watching pba boulders miss as i mentioned at the start of the video I always think it's good to kind of see the other side of the pros because you get so used to them making every shot because most of the time they are so incredibly um, composed under high pressure situations that when they do miss it just reminds you that you know what they are human they do miss sometimes so it's good to kind of see them when they struggle as well and how they adapt you know to difficult lane patterns hard um, you know, pr high pressure situations etc. And if I can find some more interesting misses from pros, then I might well make a part three. But please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Which do you think was the worst miss out of this list? And are there any other misses that I might have left out? Please do let me know in the comments section below. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, maybe you've watched a few of my other videos as well but you've yet to subscribe i would really really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button and just show your support so thank you once again for watching and as always thank you bowling fans and see you all next time